Hi, I'm Simon from Red Ferret and before we start this video I want to ask you to subscribe down below to stay updated on our latest, greatest, most awesome content on the space of YouTube. Let's get cracking with this video. So in front of me, this might be something you recognize from a previous video we did a couple of months ago. This is the Tango tab. I did a review on the regular tablet, the regular Tango tab, but this is the tablet and keyboard. Edition. So Simbuns is not really famous for its tablets, but it makes pretty cheap tablets that work very well. At least that was a fact with the Tango tab I re I've reviewed a couple of months ago. So what do we get in the box? We get a thank you. Your support has saved a life. As you may know, part of the sale proceeds of our Simbuns product goes to sponsoring life-saving surgeries of kids coming from less privileged families. That's actually pretty nice. Nice. That's one reason to buy from them. So in the box we get a lot of stuff. A user guide, a keyboard and a tablet and cables as well. Like a real reviewer. I've um, took everything out of the box to um, start testing it and to see if it was any good. So this is what you get in the box. You get a power brick and two adapters for uh, UK and EU and then US as well. And then two cables to charge it. The keyboard as well, of course, and the tablet itself. And it has Word, Excel and uh, WPS Mobile Office installed on this thing, which is pretty sweet. So remember that this right now retails for $140. 140, only $140. So that's actually very cheap. So this is the back of the tablet. Um, it's plastic, some kind of matte plastic finish. Um, feels cheap to be honest, but hey, uh, there's a camera over here and then you have the buttons, the uh, plus and minus for volume, the power button, mic input, USB input, HDMI. So you can hook this up to an HDMI television or HDMI screen at least. That's pretty nice. Full USB input, DC input and a micro SD input as well. Pretty nice. So there are speakers on the left and on the right of this tablet. So um, you can already see that this is some kind of laptop right now because the keyboard is already installed. I've been using this for the last couple of weeks. Look at this. This is actually pretty sweet, ain't it? For the price. So as you can see, the keyboard itself has some kind of magnets, some kind of touch points over here. And then these are two slots for the uh, keyboard itself. So this is the keyboard. It's uh, yeah, pretty lightweight, um, it's basic again, same plastic, doesn't feel that expensive. So how do you attach this? Very easy. Just plug these in like this and it's attached as you can see, very nice. So the build itself is more than okay. It bends a little bit when you press the keys as you can see. There is a touchpad on the bottom over here. It's squirty and you have some shortcuts on the top as well. So it actually looks and feels like a mini laptop as you can see. So um, it's a pretty good size. There are some big bezels on the top and on the sides. There, There's also a front camera which I didn't mention over here. So that's pretty nice. It doesn't look the best but it does work very well. I've seen from my task testing the last couple of months or weeks at least. So it has its uh, some kind of own operating system as you can see. It's Simbuns, not it's, it's Android of course, but um, it has some kind of um, Simbuns skin to it. So uh, yeah, Wi-Fi reach is very good. There are a lot of tablets that don't have a lot of Wi-Fi reach. I've already tried so a lot of tablets. Uh, that are cheap, that don't have a lot of Wi-Fi reach, but this one, that's actually very nice. So as you can see, it all immediately works. So right now it's taking in emails. As you can see, that's why it's blocking. As you can see over here, those are all emails. Oh God, calm down. So the screen quality is okay. You can't really see the pixels if you look closely. So that's very well. You can't really bend the screen. So there is only one way to put it and it's this. So you can't put it further away as you can see. But it keeps still. So that's very good. You can use the trackpad as you can see. And then uh, you get some kind of mouse which is pretty nice. So it has Excel, Word and uh, some other uh, Office apps pre-installed, WPS Office as well. So that's actually pretty nice. When everything is booted up, it works very fast. So that's good. So let's um, check a web browser, for example. And as you can see, the keyboard really does work very fast. There's not a lot of keyboard travel as well. 
so um, it runs very smoothly and of course you can use the trackpad to scroll as I'm doing right now but I wouldn't say scrolling with a trackpad is that good on this thing because it's a very small trackpad um, so you can use your fingers as well of course for example this one as you can see that's very fast and that works great The speakers are not the best. There is no bass on these speakers. Some can canny noise, uh, tinny noise. It, it's not perfect, but I wasn't expecting that either, actually. At my work, I just um, put the analytics open and then I can see what's happening. Um, so I can see the users on our site. I can see what they are browsing. I can see how many users there are on our site at this point, at this moment. So that's actually pretty nice and I just keep the screen open. I also did via settings an automatic schedule so it starts up, the tablet starts up when I arrive and it shuts down when I leave. So that's very nice, I don't have to touch anything, just my code and make sure I refresh it a couple of times so um, it doesn't go into standby because I can't change that. But still very nice, very easy and very handy uh, in my opinion. So of course it has Word pre-installed which means that um, this can be perfect if uh, you're a writer and you want to write something for example. So The keys are a little close to each other because of course it's a small keyboard. And I'm not really used to typing on a small keyboard. Don't look at my writing. It's also QWERTY and I'm not used to QWERTY. Okay, it got a little bit better um, after a while. It works, you have to get used to it. The keyboard is pretty small. But hey, what did you expect? So it has shortcuts as well as you can see, that's very nice. So you can do it with your fingers or you could do it with the touchpad over here or the trackpad. Touchpad, trackpad? I'm saying touchpad but it's probably trackpad. So as you can see that actually works very fast it, very fast it just works as it should work so um yeah no actual issues with this tablet as of yet the battery life is also very nice um it has battery life of about i think um two two to three days on regular use not um very uh, hard use like gaming or something but like for uh, using it for analytics and all that stuff it works perfectly fine. But is this a tablet I would recommend together with the keyboard? Well, actually, yes, for the price, $140, something like that, depending on where you buy it, with a keyboard, with a keyboard, this is a real deal breaker. This is a very cheap tablet and a very good tablet for the price. It looks very ugly. Uh, let's be honest, it, it doesn't look nice. It's thick, it's heavy, it's plastic, it has bezels. I think if you put them together you have a small tablet on its own with the bezels alone. The keyboard is flunky, is plastic as well, but it's $140. You get a tablet that works very fast, that runs very smooth, that has Word, that has Excel. Um, that can play any game you want. You have a keyboard that does all the tricks, that does the complete job. So uh, no drawbacks on the keyboard as well. It even has a trackpad, which is not great. I'm going to be honest, it's not great, but it works as well. So this complete package for only $140, you get a some kind of mini laptop with a tablet. You can even uh, plug out of the keyboard. So I don't see any issues if you're looking for something like this, an extra small computer for your work, like I'm using it right now. Well, then this really does the job and it works amazingly fine. Of course, you won't be doing any Photoshop or uh, something else with this thing. 
but if it's just for typing and for other stuff or watching videos and all that stuff then it will work very well trust me all right i hope you enjoyed this video about the simban stango tab and keyboard if you have any questions about this tablet let me know in the comment section down below and i'll be very very glad to help you i hope you enjoyed this video if you did leave a like down below if you did leave this like and tell us why so we can improve our videos and i hope i'll see you yes you is watching this behind your phone or behind your tablet i don't know in our next video bye bye